feel like one of the hardest parts of blogging is doing it in public. Because everybody really looks at you like you're a douche. <laughs> And then we're gonna go to Annapolis. Oh, that was cute. Annapolis, Maryland? Is it Maryland? And we don't even know what's there. We're just going. Do we have to go get that? <laughs> we're gonna have to go back home and get our scroll. Good thing we're only like 10 minutes from the house. So we'll go back and get our scroll and I'm going to introduce you guys to the scroll and what it actually is. back to the house. Brittany's drunk. We gotta get the scroll. Extra cheddar and or just regular? I want that booty! Ben. Ben. All gassed up. Ready to start the two, two hour and four minute drive. Let's go. What's your BAC? <laughs> Blood alcohol content. Is there such thing as a two? A two. A two. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> pretty sure you're dead after two. Pretty sure you die. Mine's exactly 0 .07. Maybe. I, did, did they pass that law? What law? They were going to enact 0 .05. Or is that just in the works? So we got to the hotel right away. Slept. I didn't vlog any of that because we were super tired. It was a two hour drive. It was, uh... But we woke up this morning. We're ready to go. We're going to go eat breakfast. But look at Brittany! <laughs> Crocky, here we are at the Iron Rooster. The Brittany with her coffee is ready to start the day. What did you order, Brittany? French toast. French toast, says the Brittany. in the hotel and we are going to shower and change clothes because it's cold outside and we want to be able to walk around a little bit more but before we leave and head back out on the town I want to show you guys uh, our scroll our scroll is something in me Brittany and I's relationship that's kind of like the driving force for excitement and to not let things get stagnant right mm -hmm. keeps a date night and just keeps us doing things yeah, it just keeps us doing things together. We're constantly adding to it and crossing stuff off, and it's a lot of fun. Brittany loves it. She said that's it's like the greatest gift she's ever gotten. Best <laughs> gift in my entire life. That's Brownie cool. points! But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys the scroll. Alright, so, on this scroll, we have written all of our aspirations Anything that we've ever wanted to do in life together or with the kiddos, it's all on here and a lot of the stuff's crossed out. Uh, we did a lot of things. There, <laughs> some of the handwriting's good, some of it's bad, we were drunk. <laughs> so, some, some of the aspirations or activities on here are ridiculous, <laughs> but <laughs> it's always a go-to thing like when we have a day off or a day to just like sit and re relax like this is always something cool to like get out and look at and just see all the things that we've done together accomplished all the vacations we've taken all the things we still have yet to do and there's a lot 
And I just think this was like the perfect way to just log it, because we're never gonna get rid of this thing. The worst hope that we add scrolls. Yeah, the worst case scenario is we have to get more scrolls, and that's not a bad thing. We, I don't know that we'll ever complete everything on here, but like, if we're like, what do we want to do this weekend? We're, we got ideas, man. <laughs> we got a ton of stuff. So what can we cross out? TSO. TSO. We saw Trans Siberian Orchestra live in concert. Crossing that out. We made homemade pizza together. It's a little things like that. Like that's you get a real, a small reward for like crossing it out. But <laughs> we have as little as making pizza together. To Ferris wheel and Ferris wheel all the way to swimming with dolphins. <laughs> swimming with dolphins. <laughs> and Hawaii yeah. and Alaska. Skydiving. Skydiving, which we're doing for yeah. my thirtieth birthday. Cruise, corn maze, escape room. Finger Lakes, Vegas, Mar margaritas on the beach, like just little stuff like that. Do you want to drink wine now or later? <laughs> hey, we're supposed to do a cheers. Ah. Let's get it going. I might be able to touch him. Baby, don't! I just touched a duck. I just touched a duck. That's crazy. Two shots. Basil Hayden. Whiskey. Waiting for my chaser. Oh. Hold Wait, up. Waiting for a chaser. Ooh. Oh, you guys are vlogging? Yeah, He's sorry, I'm vlogging. a vlogger. <laughs> I'm a musician, I do a music vlog. This is our like, vacation awesome. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. You wanna be in it? <laughs> yes, oh, you A vlog Hi. fan. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I was gonna do a Dirty Girl Scout. Oh. And it tastes like a Thin Mint. Oh. They're so well, good. Well. I like whiskey right. sours. <laughs> For anybody that ever buys me a drink, I like whiskey sours. Seven and sevens. Amaretto sours on occasion. <laughs> I'm always a fan of margaritas. <laughs> Brittany, what did you just text your work team? I said that we were unaddressed, so we were cold. <laughs> and we went back to our hotel room to get clothes on, and I meant to say underdressed. <laughs> underdressed, but I said undressed. <laughs> way and I'm just like yeah I don't care about bills no unlimited mimosas says the guy <laughs> 
So Ben is now on plate number six. When Ben moved in with me, I thought maybe my grocery bill would double. Quadrupled. It quadrupled. He eats a mass amount of food. This poor restaurant has no idea what they're in for, but look. See him down there? I think I'm on my fourth Bellini. And I think he's on his third mimosa. Here he comes. The all you can eat king himself. This is the only place where you can get a Danish <laughs> shrimp prime rib and French toast on the same plate. <laughs> what the French toast? <laughs> and mimosas. And polinis. And polinis, whatever that is. We just got the bill. <laughs> Seriously, one thing that always like bugs me is like I don't understand the physics of it. Like, how does that plane fly? Like that, my car drives faster than that. Look, what? The, how does that stay up in the air? And it's pulling something behind that building. How does it? The moral of this entire weekend, this trip that Brittany and I went on, is to not take life for granted. I think a lot of times it's very easy to get to get caught up in the rat race and to get caught up in the daily grind and trying to make money and make ends meet for your family. And sometimes I think it's easy to lose focus on life and the things that make people happy, like driving to Annapolis and just enjoying the slowness of life and kind of getting to smell the roses, if you will. And that's what Brittany and I did this weekend to just kind of remind us that life Everything that we do on a regular basis to make money is just as important as the things we do to spend money. And if you live your entire life without taking time to stop and smell those roses, you're, you're gonna you're gonna be an old person before you know it, and you're gonna you're not gonna have as much memories as you want to. And that's that's also part of the reason why I, I chose to start vlogging is because I want to be able to capture all these uh, beautiful moments in life and be able to, to look back on my channel someday and really just kind of relive everything that was worth capturing on camera. So this weekend for us has just been a refreshment of, uh, hmm, what has it been for us, baby? I think it was a good recharge yeah. for us mentally and just for our relationship because we're both self-employed and what comes with self-employment is a lot of work, like really, whenever you become self-employed, you work probably double the amount of time so you can work for yourself instead of half the time to work for somebody else. And sometimes when that happens, it, you lose family time um, and you lose time together. So I think it was just a great way for us to, to recharge and just focus on and celebrate how far we've come in our relationship. True, and in life and all of our accomplishments mm -hmm. and stuff like that.